Hello shooters. Today we're going to talk about the charging handle for the AR-15 series. This is the exact design of Eugene Stoner. It hasn't changed since the late 50s or 60s when he developed uh, this charging handle. Um, it still does the job but there's a number of areas that are not optimal in my opinion. Uh, for one, uh, these corners are really slick. Um, easy to slip your easy for your fingers to slip off if they're cold or wet muddy bloody whatever um, the latch is only found on the left hand side and so you have to act it's best for a right handed person to use it they have some options for a left handed person or if you're running it from the other shoulder um, you have to actually reach around and grab uh, both sides working from the right side you don't have to working with the right hand you don't have to grab both sides working with the left hand you do have to grab both sides and pull it back um, and this the uh, the target to hit the latch here isn't very big as you can see it's kinda of small and the, the very corner of it is rounded which is kinda of slick uh, then in, in the in the 80s a company called Badger Ordnance came out and they had a different latch handle Notice that this is exactly the same, exactly the same size, and uh, and everything. The only thing they changed was the latch. They made it just a little bit. They made a lot, a much larger, larger target to hit. Made it easier to manipulate either right or left-handed, because you had a hard, a, a larger target to hit over there. And then a few years ago, Bravo Company came out with a, an improved latch mechanism, but still, everybody that's made improvements to the AR-15 charging handle, all they've done is made improvements in the latch. This part of the design has always remained the same. And this part of the design is part of the problem because of its, its rounded and slick slick nature. Then uh, just recently a company called AXTS, they really have come out with a better master, mousetrap. Notice the difference here. They didn't they cleaned the slate. They decided to start from ground zero. This this part is always this this is the same, but back here they just totally revamped it, brought it into the 21st century. Uh, it can be operated equally from either side. Look at that. Um, it's got nice and large uh, grooves or jimping or stippling or whatever you want to call it on uh, both the front and the rear face of that but look at the shape of this this is where it really stands out these are basically a t-handle as you can see it, it forms a t and a sloping t at that so if you can imagine you know, uh, either this force coming back or just coming back like this with the hook of your finger or the palm of your hand um, you know that slick feature is not a good thing this the raptor it's because it's, it's kind of like a claw there's there's absolutely no way you're going to slip off this thing no matter how you actuate it. Um, it it's going to do the job uh, with cold wet m muddy bloody hands with gloves no matter what it's going to do the job it's a little teeny bit it sticks out a little teeny bit more than the OEM model sticks out a little bit teeny bit here more so on this side that's so that it can clear the forward assist and you'll see that when I, when I bring a rifle out that has that on there um, Notice the size of the roll pins. These are ginormous compared to the minuscule roll pin there and a the minuscule roll pin there. Um, uh, this is really, really, really a slick deal. I, I, I love this Raptor charging handle by a AFTX. Um, uh, let, me, uh, let me bring a rifle out with it on there and I'll, I'll show you how it works. Okay, here's a just the OEM model charging handle. See, it's just on the one side, not on the. So e, when you're holding, when you're operating with the right hand, it's easy to do. You can do it a, a number of different ways, um, or you can come up over the top and use both fingers. But when you're operating from the left side, your choice is diminish. You can't operate it at all this way. You have to come over the top and grab both and go. You don't have a choice. Uh, so there's the OEM model. Notice how it's kind of small there. 
easy to miss, easy to slip off of. It still does the job, though. I mean, for five or ten bucks, whatever it is, it still does the job. But uh, for my uses, it is uh, it's subpar. And uh, let me show you uh, the badge ordinance. Okay, here's the badge ordinance. Uh, notice that it has a much it sticks out farther, which is good. Easier to hit. It does. This, this is my dedicated 22, so the charging handle doesn't come back as far as a a real AR. But it's easier to hit um, from both sides because it is a bigger target. If I'm holding it left-handed, I obviously still whoops I can't I can't operate it. I still have to come over, but it makes it easier to hit that target. But it is a little bit too. It it, it does stick out a little bit too much. But uh, there's still no still no left-handed operation without having to come over to both sides. So let's uh, let's look at the Raptor. Okay, here it's uh, the Raptor's on my go-to AR. Um, you can see it doesn't stick out too far here, and it sticks out just far enough to clear the the uh, forward assist there. Operation is super, super slick. This is much easier to operate, even as a right-handed uh, charging handle, than uh, the OEM or the Badger Ordnance. Just the way this is designed. It's designed to kind of hook into your finger or into your palm or into your finger this way. It gives you a lot more options. And those same options are available on the left side. You can use your finger. You can use this finger. You don't have to come over the top makes it really really easy to run from both shoulders those of you that watch my channel know that that's extremely important that we run the gun as well left-handed as we do right-handed uh, so for me this is a must-have this Raptor uh, charging handle is a must-have it will remain on my go-to AR now it is kind of spendy it's like you know 80 80 bucks um, is it worth you know I don't know eight of these yeah, it is to me. For this rifle, I, I don't have this on all my ARs, uh, but on my go-to AR, this is what I have, this is what I run, this is what I recommend. Uh, highly recommended. Good kit. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.